I want to show you guys a little walker here uh, in town for sale on one of the online sites. It's a small locker, it's 10 by 10 and it's not very full, uh, but it's going to be very expensive and I'll show you why. I'll get a little bit closer to the pictures here. Uh, and this picture here, okay, it looks like you got one safe, big standing safe there, and then it looks like you got another safe here behind it. Now it's hard to tell, there's not a good view of these safes, so it's hard to tell uh, what's there, if anything is there, uh, as far as you know, if they're safes or if they're just locking filing cabinets, you can see one lock right there, uh, which looks like the kind of lock you'd find on maybe like a cheap gun safe or um, something like that or it could just be a lock and filing cabinet and there's not much else in this lock the rest of the lock pretty much looks like trash I mean you got that picture there uh, this picture here it's not a very full unit so pretty much what you're buying is a couple of safes um, and I usually don't like bidding on lockers like this now I have bought um, lockers where the main thing in them has been a big safe and I've done really well uh, quite well before in the past but uh, I don't know it'll, it'll depend on how much it goes for uh, right now it's sitting at what, 370 uh, still just under a day left it'll come up tomorrow morning so uh, we'll see how this thing goes how much it goes for and if it goes for a price that I think uh, we can take a gamble on it we'll do that and we'll see what those boxes what those safes have in them i am pretty excited i just bought that uh, 10 by 10 locker that i showed you guys earlier that had the safes in it i expected it to go for like an astronomical amount like over a thousand dollars and i got it for 510 dollars so i'm thrilled uh, i got to unload our truck some so that we can go pick that up uh, we'll probably do that later on maybe today maybe tomorrow but uh, I think it'll be a pretty good locker. I'm pretty excited that we got it. I'm excited to see if those really are safes in there and what they have in them, if they are. So keep you guys posted. There it is. All right. They're gun safes. They're gun safes. Let's see what's in them. Going through some boxes out of this locker that has a gun safe in it. This one's marked glasses keep. Oh wow, look at that. Mouse turrets. Oh, nice. Ah, and what makes this worse, that looks like crystal. Go get me a, couple, a pair of gloves. That's, uh, that's actually pretty high quality crystal so uh, I'm gonna have to go through this which is too bad because that's disgusting those are medical gloves no no no, no. the real ones they're individually wrapped oh, they're like surgical gloves because they're, they're a lot thicker than these well okay nasty Church Street Station. It's actually kind of cool. Old Milwaukee beer. That's kind of cool. Let's move that box.
gross, gross, gross. Gentleman Jack. So we are done with that. Duffel bag here, it's pretty light. No, there's a whole lot in there. Let's see. Okay, flotation device is... Uh... Alls in there. And the box out of there. Batteries go up today. We got ten percent left. Same difference. Alright, not a lot there. Another box here. Smart glasses keep. Oh, this is actually, I've sold some of these before. Some of these, uh, this is an Apollo 13. Glass, they're dirty, but clean them up. Lot more of the same type of thing around here. In this box that was in the last one. Lots of glass. For Some of this stuff sells well. Some of it will. We'll see how much of it. And one of these plugs. I'll say that one. That's kind of a cool plug. The rest of these. Yeah. Garbage. Alright, that's that box. We were just going through another box. Pulled this out. Look at that little guy that's on there. Yeah, a dead baby mouse. There's my finger for comparison in size. Just a little tiny guy. That's disgusting. He's a crispy critter. Deep fry him. I eat him. There you go. Yummy, there yummy. You oh. Five dollars. I'm allergic. You're allergic. I got them allergies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is supposed to be a shotgun cleaning kit. Let's see if it's in there. Yeah, it's there. Again, this is out of the 
stock with the gun safes in it. Let's see how we this goes. It's kind of a nice piece of furniture that came out of this locker. I mean, it's not in very good shape, but uh, we'll sell it to you. Let's do a little bit of work on it. Fix it up. There's something cool we just found in there. It's got a lot of the uh, equipment in it still. Nothing in that pocket. You got your canteen there. The pocket here. It's over here. Down here is a bayonet. SM8A W4 is what that says. And that is not in great shape, but it's alright. So it's kind of a cool little find. Let's see what else there is. Alright, we found these keys, which are for the gun safes. They fit. Which I am shocked and very, very happy that we found these out of the... I mean, we've bought several safes like this and we've never found the keys from before. So we've always had to drill them out. But this one has keys that we found. So that's exciting. We don't have to drill these locks out. Alright, well, there it is. Let's see if there's anything in there. Here's the plan. Well, hey now, don't sell yourself short. There's no... No guns in there, but... Yes, I'm disappointed. What caliber is that? Empty. 4570 government, except they're all spent shells. Yeah, that's too bad. 4570 government. Some gun that would shoot that, that'd be nice. <sighs> empty. Empty, empty. What are those, 3030? 30, 30? Yep, 3030. Those are all empty shells as well. Hearing protection. There we go, a little weaver rail. A little mount on it. Be able to sell that. Uh, some more. What's this? Lever hammer lock. That's kind of cool. Got a $1.75 price tag on it. There's some real money. It's up here. Oh, this feels heavy. This feels like it's actually bullets. All right, that's 45 auto. There's not a lot of them there. A little box. All right, well, that's a, that's a start at least. Five. Things pretty heavy. Any disappointment? Mm -hmm. Only half foot disappointed. There's another. What's that? 45 auto? Can't read that. That's bigger. I don't know what that is. It looks like 45. I think it's 45. But if that's 45, I don't know. I have to look at that a little bit more carefully. There's several there. Several bullets. That's a magazine for some sort of gun. I don't know what though. Box here. It's mostly brass. I think that's all brass, but then there's some 12 gauge shotgun shells, and this is 30 30. Yeah, 30 30. Mm, binoculars. Open that up and see if those are in there. Pistol grip. Revolver. Boxes for ammunition. The boxes are empty though. More brass. Kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. Alright, well. They're in there and they don't want to come out. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, so not a lot of value there. The most valuable thing is definitely going to be the safe. But, I don't know, it's always exciting when you buy something like this. You never know what's going to be inside there. I really wish there were some guns in there, but what do you do? What do you do? This guy. I'm styling. Styling and profiling. Alright, 
So there's kind of an overview of what we got out of there. So it looks like the main thing that was in there was some 45 bullets, 45 caliber, 45 auto. Yeah. All right, we'll get this sequel. Oh, well, wait a second, we'll open these boxes. As long as we've got this thing going. Soft case with a bunch of bullets in it. Oh man. Oh man, how come it's gonna be a gun in there? What caliber is this? 357? Yeah, 357 Magnum. Ah, oh, man. Alright, well, what do you do? And the bow case. This isn't very heavy, but it could be like a, a light bow in there. Man, there's nothing in there. Soft case, it's zippered shut, but I can feel there's nothing in there. It's empty. And another long gun case, but there's nothing in it. Bummer. Anything underneath here? Nope. Bummer. All right. Well, we'll get this other one turned around and open that up and see if there's anything in that one. All right. Here we go. Got the keys now. Got this thing turned around. Ugh. Alright, I got three keys on this ring, and I think only one of them works in the safe. There we go, that's it. Moment of truth here. Duh! Wow, that's even worse than the first one. Are you expecting better? I was hoping better. Well, let's see. Maybe there's something underneath the floor here. Nothing there at all. Set your expectations really low, and you will never be disappointed. Yeah, that's what you feel like every morning. Yep. You get up in the morning and you're like, all right, before I go look in the mirror, got to check those low. expectations. Real, real low. All right, it's a different key for these two different doors. All right, let's see. Last of the last shot. It's got to be here or there's not going to be anything. There's not going to be anything in there. You're killing but me, Kurt. You're killing there me. There might be. Called it. <laughs> Alright, nothing there. This little goofy shelf here has got nothing on it. Nothing, nothing, nothing all the way down at the bottom. Oh, look at that. There's nothing there. Alright, well, at least we got the keys for the safes. Yeah. So we'll be able to sell the safes and make our money back. Alright, here's kind of that stuff organized a little bit. Uh, scope mount for a pistol there, lock for a lever action rifle. Some CO2 cartridges, earmuffs, uh, 45 caliber bullets there, handful of 45s, another handful of 45s there. I don't, this is a box magazine that came out of some sort of gun. I don't know what what kind of gun that came out of. A bunch of miscellaneous brass. Unfortunately, sometimes we sell brass, but there's not enough there. There's only a handful of different calibers, all kinds of different calibers mixed together. Uh, a couple of 16 gauge shotgun shells, 30-06, uh, what's this, 41, yeah, 41 Magnum, 41 caliber Magnum, uh, 35, or 38 Special, and 357 Magnum, uh, so not a lot here, just a few handfuls of stuff, I'll show you some other stuff that we found in there, oh, and there's a couple, a couple of knives here, John Wayne knives, there's one, there's the other, put those on eBay, uh, got some other stuff here. Some of this little jewelry pieces, nothing real valuable there. It's kind of cool, it's a little knife, but it looks like a bullet. There's just a little knife blade in there. It's kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you got. Unfortunately, it wasn't, you know, a big, uh, wasn't a big load of great stuff, but it is what it is. Yeah, we'll do alright. There's one last thing out of this locker I want to show you guys. Right there. Look at that. We got someone's bottom key. Bottom half of the dentures. How exciting is that? 